King Lalibela yeah. had a vision, which he did, and in that vision he was told to build the New Jerusalem. I think the New Jerusalem doesn't mean he comes home and copies Jerusalem. Yeah. I think it means go back and do something incredible. How deep is it? Well, it's actually deep enough for me to be a bit frightened on the edge. How do you get I in? I don't think that's the way you in. You don't just jump. Yeah, you have to when parachute in. That was the one mistake they made. <laughs> <laughs> Of the 11 churches King Lalibela built, this one, St George's, was the last and most ambitious. Do you think the whole thing could just made. cave in on itself and we'd be buried alive? I hope they uh, had some kind of subsidence check. <laughs> I'll tell you, no surveyor is going to sign this off. No, that's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get a mortgage. Well. I wonder if the original plan for this has survived, because you've got to assume that they would have drawn it on something. Yeah. There must have been planning meetings, people drawing stuff out in parchment. And people getting cross with the contractors. Yeah. All that. And this is the 11th church of the 11. So yeah. by the time King Lelibella had built the other 10, he knew what he was doing. So this is the culmination, isn't it? This is sort of the pinnacle of his achievement. Look at this. Any bones? I think they are. Those look like feet. Yeah, those are mummified corpses. And it looks to me, because there's, there's no statue element to them, I, I'm guessing that these weren't important priests or whatever, that these are just people who came to pray here and died. If they've walked miles and miles and miles to come here. So the route that we've been travelling has been travelled for thousands of years. Yeah, it's by pilgrims. Do you think they have their replica of the Ark, Ark of the Covenant in here as well? I can imagine so, because all churches do here, don't they? Hello. hello, I'm David. Hello, hello. Hello, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this bit is. Are you the priest of the church? Yeah. And how, how long have you been the priest? And Do you remember when you first saw the church? What, what did it feel like? I've obviously spent a lot of time in churches because my dad was a vicar and a, a bishop, so I've kind of grown up with churches, but this is very different to anything um, British, really. But it reminds me of more than anything else. It feels like you're sort of backstage at a theatre. You know, these are all great devotional objects, and people are coming in and kissing the door and kissing the, the picture of St George and, you know, kneeling and kissing the floor and stuff, but it really feels almost like these uh, sort of props left lying around. It also feels like that curtain ought to open and there ought to be an audience. <laughs> what is behind the curtain? I want to open that a bit. Put this place. And no one can see that? Madam Sway, I saw that I picture. Ethiopia is sort of, I, I should think it's the most religious um, country, overtly religious country I've ever been to, really. And I like it, it's sort of, um, I don't know how it makes me feel, really. But it's, it's like stepping back in time, almost, the sort of, the level of devotion here. <laughs>